so like i said you click you click on the roof once you click on it you look for this blue line then you click on the line at any point on the side that you want it to be a gable then it will bring you this option here you want to go to one saying plane custom plane settings or the last one custom plane settings you click on it and you choose gearball and i click okay so that way on both sides we have this we have it this way and this way like i said this one is common pretty common when you're doing classrooms and now it usually it doesn't remain this way you will have to cover all the way upwards so there are two ways i can do this one way is i can just click on this like i'd shown you before you click you click on this then Control t and you extend the wall say by by 2000 the one at the top you extend it by 2000 you click ok and then you come and trim or if you don't want it to extend on all the sides but it, it, does, it doesn't have an issue because when you trim it will trim all the sides then you click on the wall you click on the roof and you go to you right click you connect trim elements to roof or shelf you select and you trim that way then you then you're already done so far it looks okay another way maybe like i was saying maybe you don't want to extend all the four sides you only want the front and the back you can suspend groups you click this option to suspend groups suspend groups then you click on this the front side and i can come and click on the back side select shift click on the back side then ctrl t and you extend by maybe 2000 like i said there's no difference between the two they like at the end you are just accomplishing the same same thing then now i can all shift and i select the roof and connect right right click connect and trim roof to shell again you end up the same same place uh, now i can undo again and show you another one say you want to add something here at the top but maybe when you go to rendering you want it to be a different color which i usually see it in many buildings as well you want this what you have at the bottom to be different color from what you will have here at the top so in such a case i will i will prefer you just draw a new wall now to do that you go to i'll suggest you go to now the the floor on the top which will be first floor one story so to to, to switch between stories to switch between stories when you come here you just right click when you go to the ground floor you just right click and you choose uh like in this case i want to choose one story so i, I come to the story above and where we have this line remember this line was where the the end of our wall it was at the end of our wall so i want to draw another wall here and another wall also here so i click on the wall and i'm using the outside face so with the outside face i can click from this part and all the way to here let me just use one side that way then i can change maybe the color of this i can control t maybe let me just switch on this so that it's that color which is yellow so that you can see maybe what i'm trying to explain so now if i select on it and i select the wall at the roof you select on it you hold shift to select the roof and you right click connect trim elements to roof or shell you click trim again you you accomplish the same same thing so for now let me end this one so i've shown you i think those are three ways you can be able to do it